Alright YouTubers, this is JR's Diecast Cars back with another video. Auto Driven 164 made a video of some you know, the semis and stuff. And he, he kind of like put a little bit of a challenge out there and said he wanted to see other other people's trucks. Well, I definitely have a few, that's for sure. And what I got here is nothing. I mean, this is just a small fraction of what I've got. Um, one of these days, I really need to start slowing down on some of these castings. But when you like them, it's so hard not to to buy this stuff. It's just, it's hard. Um, all right, the first one I'm going to show real quick is the Convoy Custom, which is one of my favorite castings in Hot Wheels. I do love the castings a lot in this. I've got, I don't know, probably... 20, 25, maybe 30 different convoy customs, different collars, different convent, just a lot. Um, but here is the first one, which it's it's detailed out real nice. This is one from the Redline Club, one of the memberships. I'm gonna set it right over there. Um, next one will be another Hot Wheel, and this is the Long Gone, I believe. I cannot remember what set it come from. <laughs> But that is one of the long gones. I got two other variations in there, or two other trucks like the long gone, but just in different series. But uh, we got this one here. And next one, I sent one of these to Auto Driven 164, this casting here. And uh, I like this casting a lot, the long gone. They're nice. There's that one there. <clears throat> And uh, there's another one that came out a few years ago. It's the one with the hot tamales on it. And this thing is pretty sharp looking. I like it. This is the best one I've got out of them. Well, I've got a, a couple of red line club pieces and convention piece and stuff. But I, I, like, I like them all. But here's this one here. This one here is kind of cool. I like it. Pretty tough looking. All right. <laughs> the next one will be the Kenworth um, W900. It's the Ken, it's just the Kenworth. But uh, it, this is a, a sweet looking piece too as well. This one here I think is from uh, Smoking the Bandit. I think it is. But this one here. <laughs> I got it when it first came out, and I opened it up, and I've loved it ever since. But, uh, here's another Kenworth here in a minute. This is uh, from one of the pop, pop cultures or any... It's got uh, one of the cartoon characters on it. And I've had this one here for quite a while, actually. I'm going to set this one up here in a minute. I'm going to set this one off. Set it back here out of the way for right now. There's this one here. So these castings here are pretty tough looking too. But uh, let's see. Our next one is going to be... Well, this is a custom I've been working on. Just never got it done. I painted it all black. And uh, I'm going to finish detailing it out. It's the same truck. But uh, it's this one here. I just haven't got it done yet. See, it's not even been glued together. Like I said, I'm not done with it yet. I'm going to get some decals. I like to be able to find some decals without spending a crap load of money, but we'll see. <clears throat> Anyhow, the next one is a Thunder Roller. And uh, I've got several different ones of this casting, but I only grabbed a couple. One was a in the main lines that come out years ago when it first came out. And everybody is familiar with this one. This thing here is just a beast. I mean, this this thing here is all it's heavy as heavy can be, man. So, but that's the one in the uh, just the common ones that come out. I know it might have been ninety six, ninety seven. I don't know. It's been a while, guys. That's for sure. But uh, there's that one there. Um, I do have a few Matchbox mixed in this, but not very many. I've got a bunch more. I just I've got them stored. But there's this one here. Now here's one of my uh, convention pieces right here. 
And uh, so I've got a few more. I've got one of these, a couple of these in the mail-in ones and stuff. It's just... Anyhow, um, I've just been very fortunate to be able to get this stuff, guys, and blessed by getting it, and I really, really enjoy this hobby. I've told you that before. All right, we're going to stick with the Hot Wheel brand real quick here. We're going to put out a couple more. Um, here's one here. This is the, I believe it's the Peterbilt, I think. But it's the dump truck that was put out a few years ago. I got another wheel variation in that as well. But uh got this one here. And this, the bed still does lift and stuff, and it's... It's all intact. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not the original. I don't believe. I think it's a remake. But I don't. I don't care. It's a beautiful casting though. All right. Let's see. We got another Hot Wheel here. This is a, a Peter Belt, and this is a cement mixer in the 164 scale. And I've had this one here for a little while too. This is blister pull. And uh, I've got another one here. This one here I bought for a quarter at an uh, indoor flea market been quite a few years ago. And it still has the hoses intact to the tank. Which these are, the hoses are hard to, to find intact on the truck. But there it is. It does have some chiggers on it, which I don't care. It, Serves its purpose. It looks good when it's displayed. That's all I care about. Um, <clears throat> and I've got some uh, bigger uh, Hot Wheels in the trucks. Like I've got a, a bigger trash truck right here. I got two different kinds of trash trucks. But uh, this one here, that's pretty cool. I put these out a few years ago and then they quit. They don't make them anymore. And then uh, we got that one there. Then I got a, uh, a cement mixer. Um, I bought a small collection out here last year sometime and I had these in it. And it was all blistered. I pulled them all from the blister. So they're all in really, really good shape. But there's a trash truck. <clears throat> There's a cement mixer. They look pretty cool. I do like them. And then we got uh, one that's got whooper, whooper, whoopers, or whoop, it's a a candy whoppers, whoppers. That's it. But uh, this thing's pretty cool because the side does open up, and it, it's pretty neat. But uh. There's that one there. Now let's put this out. See, there's the side that opens. And it shows them in there. It's pretty cool. I say these castings are in really, really good shape. And then I've got a tow truck here that uh, is cool. I like the way this one looks because when I get my diorama set up, I'm going to use this tow truck on this setup here because it, uh, it really does drop so I can pick up the cars. I'll show you here in a minute. Let's get this off of here. See, and it drops so you can pick up the cars and tow them. So that, that's pretty cool, but I'm going to set, set it back up. Set it like it's supposed to be. But, uh, there it is. Intact. Like I say, it's in really good shape. There's nothing wrong with these trucks at all. <coughs> but, um... <clears throat> And then I've got a, uh, I'm going to switch gears here for a minute. We're going to go on some Matchbox. Um, these are, they call them 164 scale. Now, if this was on a train layout, the one I'm getting ready to show you would work fantastic on a train layout. And it's this little dump truck here, and this is made by Matchbox. I think they're pretty cool looking. I like it a lot. That's the only, only one of these I have. In matchbox. Um, let's see. A couple other matchbox. Here's a like a 
This is like a little tanker truck, 164 scale in matchbox. But it does have like the fake hoses on it, you know. I mean, that's pretty cool though. I like that. Pretty tough looking little piece. And then I've got a couple snow plows in matchbox. You see, I've got dump trucks in matchbox. I've got cement mixers and there's they're all put up I mean I said I got a lot of semis and stuff with trailers but I was gonna take that one off here's this one that's pretty cool I like these a lot so these will work great on a really on any layout even a 164 scale I mean I know they're not to scale that's for sure but they'd still look good. Now I got one here, Forest Service, which I, I've had these here for a little while. Not a long time, but for a little while. But here's this one here. I like this one here. I like the paint job on it. It's pretty cool. I wish the beds tilted, but they do not. They're, they're in place, but of course they have the salt machine on the back and stuff. They do look pretty tough though. And uh, we've got one more mash box here, a bigger scale here. Uh, and it is another trash truck. And it does have a little arm that does raise and dumps the trash. It's pretty neat looking. I'm going to set this one off. Here it is here. And when it spins around, you'll see the, the uh, container, trash container on the side there. But uh, let's see. I want to hurry this up, guys. I'm already 12 minutes and it's quite a while um all right i'm gonna do a couple of uh semis here with trailers that i've got and uh these are an off-brand type um they are actually they look like majorettes i got these at walgreens i said i love my semis i got one that's a car hauler and uh, I got it at Walgreens too. Yeah, they're all majorettes. And they're, they're pretty cool looking. Whoops. I'm going to bring this up here so we can look at it better. But uh, here's the semis I was just telling you about. Here's one that's car hauler. This is like a gravel truck. The green one back there. Then we got a fire truck. That's pretty cool. Then we got racing fuel right here. I said I got these at Walgreens a few years ago. And really they're not bad looking castings, tell you the truth. And then this one here. I said I've got some Hot Wheels. It's got the trailers on. I got one with the NASCAR or the NASCAR, the NASA rocket and everything with it. Um here's a, a bigger scale. These are more into 164 here. These would be the classified as 164 scale. But uh, I got this at uh, Speedway here a few years ago. And uh, there it is right there. That's a classic looking truck right there. I love that thing. Heavy. It's all die cast too. And uh, I've got, I'm going to show a couple up here. I got this big old grain truck. Cement mixer. Show this over here. Now I've got a flatbed with Dukes of Hazard car on it. Bigger scale Dukes of Hazard. Like I said, guys, I've got so many other bigger trucks that it, I can make a video two hours long probably, and I'm never going to do that. But anyhow, guys, this is an overview of what I showed you. Um, I hope you enjoy it, and uh, God bless you, and I'll see you on the next video.